Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Lufea 2. Let's continue climbing the Phantom Tree Mountain. Here we have a... kind of an interesting thing, a little path they make you use grappling hooks for. I really shouldn't be skipping all these battles, but I'm just so lazy right now. And there's an easy way to gain levels later on. Ah, oh, that just screw up. Yeah, our goal... oh, no, I didn't screw up, I just wasn't looking properly. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We reached the end. There's no side paths or anything. It's not a maze. Fortunately, it's just a little, just a neat little thing they put into the game right there. And that's another neat little thing right there, having the monster press up. Oh, hey, this guy is, well, he's not really new. Uh, he was in one of the previous dungeons, but, and he, I think he was also the boss of the first dungeon we were ever in. He's a lizard man. Pretty normal enemy. No specials, no skills, or anything, and really weak. Like I said, we encountered him in a previous dungeon. Uh, uh okay, Phantom Tree Mountain. Let's go across this bridge. Yeah, and bombs. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh, this one, I think. Forest Red Roger here. Don't put so much weight on it. There we go. Alright. I didn't put any weight on it like you said. Is that good for? And let's I hate mad golems. Or mud golems. I see that still bugs me to this day. It's Jod. <laughs> yeah, the ships are destroyed, so get back to work. Alright, so... Oh, so he can get pa he can get past the hordes of monsters here, but for some reason these next set of monsters are just too strong for him. Yeah, he's alive to tell the tale! Uh, but, eh, at least for uh, helping him out, he's gonna build us a ship out of the tree, so I guess that's kinda cool. Uh-oh. Uh, what do we have? Oh, lions. These are normal enemies later on. They're not anything really big to worry about. Just use uh, some strong sword. Strong IP skills and spells to deal with them quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll do Frenzy here. But don't get me wrong, they do have a strong attack as you can see. I mean, heck, they just killed Maxim, which I wasn't expecting at all. But they're not terribly strong. They're just annoying. Da 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 da. This song's catchy, and I will need to revive Maxim. Good thing I bought the rally spell when I had the chance to win. I can't. I lost my train of thought there. I'm sorry, <laughs> viewers. If y'all put up with my ad libbing and still watch these videos, uh, then yeah, you know what? Thank you. Cause yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of torture to be put through. Oh wow, okay. And I was apparently mistaken. These are stronger versions of the lions that would become regular and our standard enemies later on. Uh, let's have Solan focus on healing this time, and man, they're fast. I was uh, reading up on the ancient cave, uh, just trying to figure out how I want to go through it. And I was reading it, and apparently, and, you know, this makes perfect sense, but the most important stat in this whole entire game is agility. You know, you mainly, or you really want your healer as fast as possible for the main game, just to help with stuff like this. But when it comes to, uh,. Oh, what was it? When it comes to Ancient Cave, you want all your people with the highest agility possible. Simply because there are monsters towards the 80th and 100th floor, if you are not fast enough, or if you get caught off guard or surprised, you will more than likely die. Doesn't matter what level you are. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> 
But if you know what you're doing and uh, move quick enough and use the right attacks, have the right weapons equipped, you will be uh, good to go and... Ah, oh, I was afraid there. Whew! Well, lions are dead. Nothing to worry about. We all got some decent levels out of it. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's uh, finish up here. That's not a grappling hook, silly. That's a grappling hook. And here we have the phantom tree. <laughs> Wait, we can use warp? Oh, dang it. Why do they let us use warp in cutscenes on a dungeon, but they don't let us use warp when we're not in a cutscene? <laughs> yeah. And this one kind of threw me off for a bit. I found myself wandering around town for like a good 30 minutes the first time trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Uh, but he said it'll be a couple of days. That's your clue right there. <laughs> oh, Dakar. <laughs> oh, wow. I love the chemistry between him and Guy. They're always just picking on each other. Oh, let's just talk around town, you know, enjoy the scenery, why not? And we've already got uh, all of our big things uh, taken care of. We're just waiting on Jad to finish building that ship. Uh, yeah, the Ustar continent to the east. Uh, it will be done when it's done. Just calm down, person. Who's Stella? I believe this is Jad's house. Yep. Flying ship. Wait a couple days. I'll make the greatest ship ever. Oh, how am I supposed to wait a couple of days? Uh, yeah. So, you know, just relax and enjoy. Uh, ah, I think I'm good for now. Oh, where did he? What the? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the guy. Yep, there's the car. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, sorry, he's taken. Oh, come on now, the car. I need to see something entertaining here. I came here for a show. I thought you did something funny. Uh, what a letdown. All right. Well, like Jad said, and I've also said a few times. Ship will take a couple of days. So here's what you need to do. Spend ten gold pieces at the end here twice. And but before doing that, uh, I'll meet you back here if nothing exciting happens. Okay, he uh, did nothing exciting. All right. Well, let's uh, just do this then. And spend another ten gold for the night. Uh, if memory serves, just walk on down to the pier, and voila! We have ourselves a new ship. Ah, uh, yeah. Newly born Margos. Oh, and Stella was the girl up top in the bar. Complain about Jad and him just going straight to shipbuilding. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh the car. <laughs> Alright, folks, uh Ah we'll head to Grubrick later. Right now we're gonna head for Narcissus. But what what awaits us when we get here? Get there. Find out next time on Let's Play Lufea 2 with your host Sension.
Peace out.